So today I'm uh, three decades in, in business and uh, for 20 years I have been in the aerospace industry and in large uh, logistics uh, like, like Siemens and before it was with uh, European aerospace and defense systems and since uh, 10 years I'm a professor for corporate strategy and I run my own business that's Innovatogy now since, since a decade and I'm a professional uh, strategy consultant and may I say so also I'm a, a practitioner and, and not that type of, of thought leader. Okay, so I work a lot with companies and during the last 10 years um, I ran through approximately 150 strategy projects with different customers on an international scale. Okay. I work for the finance industry in, in, in Germany and for production companies in Germany and Switzerland and in the past I had many prominent customers like, like BASF and, and Lufthansa, uh, uh, Siemens, uh, VW, Mer Mercedes and uh, many others of that kind. But from time to time it also happens that a uh, small and medium uh, sized uh, so-called SME um, a business uh, knock on my door and I try to do my best with respect to improvement of their strategy. Uh, for sure, we, we are, let's say, a strong theme is the Euro crisis at, at present and, and all that uh, issues that come along with, with the financing and, and uh, with, with, with banking and so on, that is one thing. And on the other side, we, we are in Europe, okay, we are challenged by, let's say, uh, Asian countries. On the one side, uh, China for us, for all EU countries, is a big, a huge market. On the other side, it's an extremely strong competitor. And uh, each co company has to individually find, let's say, its path and to its future. Yeah. Okay, so if, if you really want to have a professional business strategy, you should have a professional, let's say, product portfolio available always, always, today, in the near future, in the medium uh, future, and you should uh, see the businesses and the market segments and the product coming, and you should manage that portfolio all over time. And that is also a question of pipeline management, business pipeline management, sales pipeline management, and product pipeline management. Very uh, important thing is to address clear targets, to communicate clearly with their uh, employee and their staff and also their uh, supplier and to uh, report and control on an ongoing basis and, and manage the performance consistently. Okay, so it's not enough to, to, to develop a good strategy, that's not the only trick. Okay, the challenge is uh, to make it work and that comes along with uh, performance management. So service businesses also have to look at their uh, productivity and how they use their selves, the human resource, uh, uh, as an asset and how they comply and satisfy service level agreements that, have, that they have been promising uh, to their uh, customers. And that goes even further from my point of view. The next big wave that we will see uh, is um, white collar productivity. Okay, so white collar productivity nowadays is, is not uh, at the same high level compared to, to blue collar. So what happens in, in, the, in the factory and the pro production sites, okay? And that will be an upcoming wave too. So there are many, many, many good books. Uh, <laughs> we're talking about a wave here, but two are always in my mind. One is competing for the future, competing for the future, and the second one is the art of profitability. These are uh, two books that, where I, as a professional consultant, did really profit from and which I recommended to my customers.